What's up everyone? Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very cool tweak that just hit Cydia called Eternium. Now Eternium gives you an interface that looks just like the Apple Watch. So you can kind of get a feel for how it will be if you were to have one but have it on your iPhone instead. And I must say it is very slick, very nice, just overall great. Definitely a nice way to wow your friends and make your phone stand out in the crowd and look different than that of everyone else's around you. So with Eternium, you do have a couple of options and it's not just for looks. So this is an interface that you can use successfully. So as you can see, you still get your notifications. You're still able to access Spotlight. You're also still able to swipe up and access Control Center. So all of those features are still accessible. And on top of that, you can actually use the apps as they are on your home screen. So I'm able to tap on settings and hop quickly into my settings. And you'll probably notice as well that beautiful animation that took place. Very slick, very nice. So let's try that with the voice app as well. I'm not sure if you all watch that TV show. Let me turn it down a little bit. But I currently do watch it. I love it. So as you can see, you can jump in and out of those apps just as you normally would if you had apps on your home screen. Also, if you notice there, I can be at a particular area of my screen, hit the home button, and it pops me right back in the middle, taking me back in essence to my home screen or my home icon. You can also rearrange the icons if you hold your finger down on one. They'll start to spin, um, and then you can just drag an icon where you want it to go, move it about, tap the home button, and voila. You'll also be able to use themes with this particular application. So I currently have a soft theme installed on my phone through Winterboard. And you'll notice my icons don't look like the stock icons and that's more so why. And something else that I really, really love about it is that it's easy to turn this tweak on and off with an activation method. So mine's is currently to triple press the home button. So if I triple press it, as you see, it just pops right back to my regular layout, icons and the folders and everything. Triple press again and it's right back to Eternium. So very, very, very nice tweak. If you hop into the settings, you can turn off a couple of options, such as if you want to use the dock or not, or if you want to have your application names show up, or if you want to use an icon mask, you can configure all of that through here. Now, each option that you enable does require a respring. So just for demonstration purposes, if you're curious how it's gonna look if you use your dock, and also if you show your application name, I'm gonna go ahead and respring this so you can take a look at how that'll be. So with those options enabled, you have your dock down here. I don't have any icons in it currently, but I can drag an icon there if I'd like, hit the home button, and it's down there. So I have my dock down here where I could put some stationary icons, but still take advantage of this Apple Watch interface here. But I believe that's everything. You can also customize your wallpaper as you normally would. It's just really going to change the layout of everything. And... I must say I'm impressed and I can only imagine where this tweak is going to go next to already be at this level upon it just hitting Cydia. So it is $2.99, but in my personal opinion, it's worth every penny, especially if you want something to just kind of alter the look of your phone and you can pinch and zoom. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, so I can pinch to zoom out or pinch to zoom in and it'll take me in on an icon. I can also zoom out and tap um, in a particular area and it'll hop there. So it's a very nice way to browse in between your icons on your screen. I don't believe you can create folders just yet, but maybe that's in the future versions to come. But that really sums everything up that I can think about this particular tweak I wanted to share with you. If you have any additional questions or any additional comments of things you notice about this one, definitely drop it down below. If you enjoy this video, you already know what to do. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.